Okay, so now is the point in the evening where if you have a decent group size, you want to set up a PA system. Now, like I said in the beginning when we were loading stuff in, when it gets around like maybe like 18, 20 people and you're kind of steadily doing events like that, you might want to invest in a PA system. It doesn't have to be glorious, it doesn't have to be immaculate, you don't have to spend a ton of money on it, um, but it's definitely a good investment because it, there's nothing worse than trying to get the the attention of a bunch of drunken people painting. <laughs> and they're all super loud. And you're like, hey, hey, over here, I'm trying to get to the blue sky. You know, it's like, it's just the most difficult thing to do. So, um, and, and also, when if you decide to get a PA system, uh, that just stands for a pro audio sound system. It's basically just a speaker system uh, on tripod stands with a headset. Um, when you're ready to get a PA system, you have to kind of, after you've done a few events, you need to feel out kind of what your threshold limit is. And what I mean is that if you're comfortable teaching in front of 20, 25 people and you have a loud voice and you can project well, then you don't need to get a PA system yet. But if you're more of a timid, quiet talker and you know talking amongst 15 people, it's kind of a strain on your voice, you might want to invest in something like that. I got my uh, pro audio system from Guitar Center. Uh, I'm not sure if there's one around you, but Guitar Center is a a great place to go to get affordable uh, sound equipment and like I said I basically just got like a couple of speakers on some tripod stands um, this is actually the speaker I got um, this is the the mixing board I got um, over there those are the uh, the tripod stands I got <laughs> Um, and uh, what else do you need? And, and the wireless headset. This is my, my wireless headset uh, pack. So um, it's definitely a good investment. I'm not going to bore you with setting up a PA system, but um, at some point you might want to get that if you're starting to teach bigger, bigger groups. And I hope you do, because that means you guys are making some money. Okay, awesome guys. So after you set up your PA system, you want to do a quick mic check before you start teaching for the night. Um, there's nothing worse. I've had this happen to me a few times where um, I didn't do a mic check and then everyone got there at 7 o'clock ready to teach and I had no sound. <laughs> so it really stinks when you have like 20, 30 people waiting to, to go and start painting and you haven't done a mic check yet. So really quickly, before you start putting the paint out or anything like that, do a quick mic check. So right now over here I have... Uh, my tablet plugged into my mixing board and I got my mic plugged into my mixing board and everything so this should be playing we're gonna test out the music first so let's see so yep so that's coming out that's coming out the speakers pretty good all right now I'm gonna test out the microphone too check 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 hey check one check two check one and what I usually do is um, I, I kind of walk around the room to kind of listen myself if I was a customer just to hear if I can hear myself so hey check one check two check one check two hey 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 check one check two awesome all right the music might be a, a little too loud uh, but I can always turn it down a little bit or if you're too soft, you can turn yourself up a little bit. Um, but that sounds pretty good. So that is your mic check. Good job.